Hello, everyone. Um, today, I will walk you through um, the best laboratory practice. Uh, we'll give you a short overview and introduction about purpose and benefits of using an ILIAN and LIMS. You will learn where and how to find information about available software on the market, and we'll provide you with some of the examples. Often materials are stored in Excel files or dedicated databases, protocols or written in Word files or wikis. Experimental and analysis procedures are often documented in paper laboratory notebooks. The data is usually stored in different locations on researchers' PC, hard disks or of measuring instruments. To ensure data reproducibility and transmission of knowledge as well as fair principles, Accurate documentation of lab work is necessary. If you are working with biological, geological, chemical samples, or other um, materials, or perform analysis of samples which you bought or um, produce in your laboratory, then um, uh, this should be tracked and sufficiently documented. Protocols and all experiments of processing analysis steps need to be recorded. Raw data from measurements, process data, and analyzed data and codes need to be safely stored. Uh, back it up and annotated enough metadata to be interoperable and uh, interpretable for other colleagues and codes should be versioned. Electronic laboratory notebooks and laboratory management systems enable researchers to store data documentation and perform samples, measurements, calibration of instruments in a single platform, which is easy searchable and retrievable by anyone with permitted access to the system. Electronic laboratory notebooks were designed to uh, replace traditional paper laboratory notebooks capture and des describe experiments and observations, protocols, notes, and other data using your uh, computer or mobile device. Laboratory information management systems were developed to manage samples and laboratory operations, including sample storage, labeling, recording, reporting, barcode, audit certification, uh, track your workflows in a step-by-step -step process and track your all material inventory, comply and complete clinical lab management and operational platforms. Why should laboratories adopt uh, an ILIAN and LIMS? So that uh, ILIANs and LIMS system, systems they ensure that data is stored in a known location, it's reduced data loss, meet also data management guidelines from funding agencies, facilitate data sharing, uh, considering also collaboration with uh, project partners, inter internal and also external at the international level, and improve data traceability and reproducibility of results. Uh, here, I would like to um, highlight uh, some uh, differences and uh, similarities between ILIAN and LIMS. One of the main differences between ILIANs and LIMS is the fact that ILIANs are usually dedicated to the storage and recording of unstructured research data, for example, experimental data from the research and development stage, while LIMS are dedicated to structured and repetitive data following patterns and templates if you are uh, in analytical labs and you're performing many tests so that it would be uh, the right uh, um, instrument to use, a tool to use uh, as LIMS. This means that ILIAN, uh, they are much more experiment-centric and works well in situations that require flexibility to accommodate changes or capture details of the, an experiment, such as results, troubleshooting, or unstructured notes. On the other hand, LIMS are primary sample centric uh, for storage, uh, labeling, barcode format, recording, reporting about the instrument uh, calibration, for example, certification and uh, audit. So they work well in the environments characterized by repetitive and uh, consistent activities. 
What should be considered by choosing aliens or limbs? First of all, lab requirements. So established practices and group preferences. Consider specific features that you need. Check institutional policies. It can be. Uh, if they are available or ask colleagues, might be some of the groups already use aliens or limbs. Ask for their feedback. Uh, double check software if you are working with sensitive data, check security level of your data, get educated as well so that, for example, at the University of Bern, uh, data science lab offers uh, support and um, with uh, specific limbs. I will also mention this a little bit uh, later today. Ask also for demonstrations and ask for support. Consider available resources, including budget, personal time, and available infrastructure. Consider also software integration, if uh, it's compliant, and uh, perform a test drive for selected software. Ask for training and support. A strong commitment at the institutional level and group level is also crucial. Uh, strong communication between different stakeholders through uh, regular meeting, continuous reassessment of the requirements is also essential. Alien Finder uh, help you to search and select a suitable alien for your purpose. And uh, here on this uh, uh, slide, you can see find aliens so that there is also a link I can also post in the chat later on where you can find uh, suitable alien uh, or limbs uh, according to your needs. Alien and limbs uh, link available on the market. I would like to give you some examples of limbs often used by research laboratories at the Swiss Research Institutes and laboratories including the University of Bern. However, until now at the university, there is no centralized system, which is probably will be developed in the near future. First example is here the OpenBIS, which was developed by ETH Zurich Scientific IT Service in close co collaboration with scientists at the ETH Zurich. It consists of an limbs for storing information about materials and method used, and ELN for describing experimental and computational procedures, and the data management module for storing experimental and computed data. The recent integration with Jupyter Notebooks facilitates analysis of the data stored in OpenBIS by also storing uh, Jupyter Notebooks in the system connected to the analyzed data. Users can keep track of the complete data cycle. And scientists working with the big data in the order of hundreds of terabytes uh, can uh, describe the experiments computation in the alien and use the big data link module to create links to their data, which potentially could be stored in several different locations. More information and uh, installation support is offered by Data Science Lab at the University of Bern. Here, I just give you an overview of what is existing and uh, usable. Uh, by different research institutes and universities in Switzerland and also abroad. Uh, there are some laboratories at the medical faculty at the University of Bern using open peace. Another example is Fink and Partners uh, have developed a high performance LIM software that adapts to your individual requirements, whether it's a single installation with one measurement, measuring device uh, connected or extensive uh, with hundreds of measuring devices. Using LIMS will allow you to optimize laboratory process and laboratory data management. This LIMS is developed for environmental lab, including chemistry and geology. Licenses for academic use is free of charge. It also depends from number of users. And uh, at the University of Geology Mi Mineralogy Lab, at the University of Bern is using these limbs so that you can also ask for feedback and uh, advices. Our space limb software with ILIN is generic and applicable for life sciences and chemistry with many uh, different features. And uh, you can also check the platform according uh, to this software. 
and combination limbs and ilium. Another example, a highly customizable alien and limb system with sample and order management solutions is provided by Genome. The main SLIMS features support in uh, EPFL research laboratories. So that if you're interested in, you can also check the link later on. Uh, here, I would like to make a short summary or summarize that the, first of all, identify your needs and priorities, a compatibility with existing lab workflow and infrastructure, check institutional policy, take into consideration ethical and legal issues, which can be related to your data collection, processing, analysis, and sharing, strong sponsorship, commitment, training, and communication between multiple stakeholders involved in the process are highly relevant. Use an LEN to capture, analyze, manage, document, and share scientific data. Use LIMS to track of data associated with samples, experiments, laboratory workflows, barcode, audit, and instruments. Or use combination of both an LEN and LIM. LIMS depends on your need and lab infrastructure. I would like also to take an opportunity and advertise you some workshops and courses offered by Open Science team. If you have any suggestions on the topic or workshops which is not yet covered, please fill out survey, which is anonymous. Uh, if you are interested in funding use, training sessions and courses in research data management, please subscribe on to our Open Science newsletter. Thank you for your attention. I, I will be happy to answer your questions. I will be also curious to know if some of you from audience already using Ilian or LIMS. If yes, which one and shortly give feedback on this tool if possible. Thank you.